Hello my friends, my name is Grant Dunn from workwithgrantdunn.com and in this short video I'm going to talk about how to close more sales. Whether you're in the home business niche uh, or you know, you're know you a network marketer or whatever, you're just in sales or marketing to some level, I want to talk about how you can close more sales and really talk about a simple formula, a model that you can follow that will enable you to make more sales, uh, make more money and build bigger teams if that's what you're trying to do, organizations, uh, in network marketing or whatever. Uh, I myself am a network marketer and I do affiliate marketing and things like that. But what I want to talk to you about is, it's, it's, it can, this can also be called, it has been considered or called the new sales model. And it was uh, shown to me by a friend of mine named Chad Jasso and I found that when I follow this simple model, I have a much easier time and much more painless uh, experience as well as the, my prospect making the sale and closing the sale. And what I want to say about closing the sale is so many people, uh, you know, especially people who, who aren't very experienced in, the, in sales and, and network marketing, home businesses, they think that closing a sale is an event. And everything they do is to get to that event where they close a sale and hoorah, right? And that's really not what closing is. Closing a sale is a process, okay? And when you get past that feeling of closing a sale is an event and you're waiting for that money in your hand, uh, you will find that you'll make more sales and close more deals, okay? So I'm going to draw this like a funnel because this is how it was taught to me. And there's four, there are four phases of the sales funnel. I'm just going to cover all of those right now. The first is building trust and credibility. Okay, and this can also be considered relationship building. You're establishing relationship. And to be honest with you, this entire process is relationship building process, but but there's certain phases of it that we have to consider before we get to the sale or the close part where you get paid. And in this phase, obviously, you know you're establishing trust. You're you're t getting to the point where your client, your prospect, they stop seeing you as a salesperson and as a more of a trusted advisor. And you can even call yourself that throughout the sales process when you're communicating with your prospect is do things and talk and, and, and figure out who your prospect is. Be, be a real person, okay? Um, learn about them. them. And that, this also kind of ties into assessing the needs. Assess needs. Okay, now th about 40% of your sales process, your close in process, is on the trust and credibility aspect of the process. Now you can do both of these phases at the same time, at the same time obviously. Um, and 30% of your time should be assessing the needs of your client, figuring out what their wants, needs, and desires are. What, it is it, what is it that they're looking for? Do they want extra income? Uh, would they like to travel more? Would they like to homeschool their children? Okay. Uh, do they hate their job? Okay, so you assess these needs that they that they're trying to uh, these problems. Okay, this could also be called a problem. What is the problem that your prospect is having? Okay, what is it that they want, need, and desire? And this will establish the problem. See, because your job as a salesperson is to offer the solution. Okay, and how can you offer a solution to a problem? If you don't, if you don't know what the problem is, okay. So by assessing the needs, establishing trust and credibility, being real, being a real human being, having human to human uh, interaction, not salesperson to 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 uh, buyer interaction. Because here's the thing: the last thing that your prospect wants is to be sold. They want to be led. They do want to buy. People love to buy, okay. But they want to be led to a buying decision, not sold or convinced into making a buying decision. The next phase is probably the, the most fun part, or all the second to the most fun part, making a recommendation. Okay, this is the solution. 
So at this point, you have spent 70% of your time. So that means if you're having a conversation that's 20 minutes long or you're, you're, you're closing a sale and it's taking you a half hour to close a sale, you have spent the majority, the 70% of that time, establishing trust and credibility, okay? Becoming that trusted advisor, right? And assessing the needs of your prospect. Then, and then, and only then, can you offer the solution. Okay, because now you can, you can relate your solution, whether it's your home business opportunity, a product, uh, you know, marketing software, what, whatever it might be, um, you can offer the solution to the problem. You can, you can establish your, your offer, right, as the solution to the problem, okay? And then comes the real fun part where we get paid, and this is closing the sale, or this is where you make the sale. Now, obviously, following this process doesn't mean, let me just write this here, 20%, 10%. So obviously, when, you, when you're following this sales model, you're not going to convert everybody into a buyer, right? But what you'll find is if you follow this regimen, if you follow this process and take your time with the first phases, the first two phases, if you take your time, you will find that you will close more sales and you will start making more money. And if you're trying to build a network marketing organization, you will build a bigger organization faster, okay? And so I wanna encourage you to take note of what I just showed you here. Uh, just a quick little tip, and uh, I hope that it helps you. I hope that, uh, you know, coming into this new year that you make more money than you've ever made in your entire career. And, uh, you know, if you'd like to work with me in any of my, uh, in my marketing system or my home business, if you just like to figure out, learn more about Grant Dunn, then, uh, and there I go talking about myself in third person, real cool, huh? Um, feel free to go to my work, my blog, it's workwithgrantdunn.com, learn more about myself, learn about how you can join me in business, and, you know, if you're looking to earn 100% commissions, if this is at all attractive to you, because I know that if you're in sales, If you're in sales, you're probably making 10, 20, maybe if you're really, really lucky, 50% commissions on your sales, whether you're an affiliate marketer, whether you're selling cars or homes, even homes are worse, it's like 3%, but it doesn't matter. Whatever, whatever it is that you are selling, I know that you're not earning 100% commissions unless you're making the product yourself. If you'd like to learn how I earn 100% commissions uh, on a simple system that I follow, um, Go ahead and click on one of the links or go to my blog and you'll find some more information on it there. I actually offer a free six-day boot camp that uh, talks a lot about uh, how I use the system and, and the cer certain strategies I use because that's what I do. So, my friends, it's been Grant Dunn from workwithgrantdunn.com. I hope this helped. Talk to you soon. Bye.